While maintaining its historical character and charm, the heart of Subiaco has come to life these past few years with an array of unique new venues springing to life down every busy street and up every back alley. Our first stop is Little Things Gin, an urban distillery just outside of the hustle and bustle of Subiaco's corporate hub, to meet up with venue manager James Possel. So James, tell me a little bit about Little Things Gin and how you guys ended up in Subiaco. So we've been distilling gin for three years. Um, we've always wanted to do a little pop-up place where we can showcase what we do. So we found a little spot here in the heart of Subiaco, around some beautiful bars in the area, um, and here we are. And what is it that makes Little Things Gin so special? We love to use a lot of native Australian botanicals. Very proud of what we do. Put a lot of, a lot of heart and soul into it. And do we have any signature drinks? What have we got here in front of us? So here we have an espresso martini, but with gin. So we use a, our Australian dry gin with some kakadu plum syrup, mm -hmm. which is like a nice butterscotch taste. And then here we have a drink called a wax lyrical. So we use native finger lime, gelatin wax and gin with a bit of tonic, a bit of a beautiful little fresh number for summer. We'll say no more. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Our next stop is the perfect place to unwind after a long week. Cherubino City Cellar is a sophisticated venue that offers all sorts of wining and dining options. We've got about 600 wines, 650 wines here at the moment, showcasing all of Larry's wines from Great Southern, Margaret River, Pemberton. Also, we've got a lot of wines from Italy, from the north, down to Sicily, so we import quite a few, and there's a fair bit of Burgundy for the French files as well. Do you put on any events we should know about? Sure, on every Saturday morning from 10 to 1 o'clock, we do a free tasting with um, cheese from Simon Johnson downstairs, and we also do paid tastings, like a Salador experience here, so we are an urban Salador as well. Whether you want to come here for a quick glass of wine and some oysters or you want to spend all day or night here at a long lunch, we love it. We're, we're here for everyone. Beautiful. Finally, we're making our way up Hay Street to Golden West Brewery, a Western Australian drinks company with a long history and a brand new venue. The history of Golden West started over 100 years ago when it was a soft drink company and then when the name became available we picked it up and we ran with it and now it's coming back to life just like Subiaco. And when we're knocking off work on a Friday afternoon what can't we miss here? Of course our beers, everything's brewed in-house. Our head brewer Tim is a true blue Aussie and his lager is the best. Awesome. So what are some of your favourites here on the menu? The roasted cauliflower and the aloo vada croquettes are my favourites, but the birria is also very popular. Uh, it's a great space to be able to bring the kids down because we have a special kids menu as well, and it's an open space for them to be able to enjoy as well. As the weather starts to warm up and the days get a little bit longer, we all have a bit more time on our hands, so rather than clocking off and heading straight home, why not grab your co-workers and come and explore some of the exciting new venues right here in Subiaco.